Hi Aquarius, welcome back. I'm Ashley Allure. I am a spiritual homegirl. We're gonna go ahead and get right into this. So, y'all, I wanna go ahead and go ahead and say this. So lately I have not been able to like um do readings, but the channel messages like they just be coming in like a warp speed. Um, <laughs> literally. So this is gonna be a channel message for you guys, Aquarius. However, um I will be putting them on the second channel, so definitely check out the second channel. But um I'm still going to do you guys' readings and stuff, but the channel messages are in fucking saying. All right, Aquarius. So, you have a copycat. Whoever this copycat is, uh, this person literally is in, like, a secret competition with you to be better than you. But it's like, you're not competing with them because you're you, if that makes sense. This copycat is definitely somebody here who, like, they admire you. This is somebody here who you may inspire them or I'm getting you make them feel some type of way. Also, I'm hearing this song. I'm giving him something he can feel. And then I'm hearing that song. This will be an everlasting love. This will be. Like, this person here, they think that, like, like you give them energy, you give them time, you give them inspiration, or like you give them something to where they think that like the sliver of hope or whatever you give them, they can form that into something. And they try to like copy you or literally try to be like a spitting image of you. May not be physically, but like the certain characteristics or they try to act the same, take on the same talents, careers, jobs, uh, interests, people, social groups, things that you like or things that you go for, Aquarius. Okay, this person... <laughs> They like doing shit like like that. You may have already peeped this person out. Okay, I feel like you've already peeped this person out. Okay, um, y'all, I'm literally getting ready for about to go to work, but I just I couldn't say no um to not doing this reading for y'all. Um, also today I will not be doing live. I will not be doing live. I know it's Friday. I will not be doing live though. But anyways, like I said, whoever this person is, collective seven of pentacles, they just sit back and they watch you and they watch you go uphill. I'm hearing make accomplishments or get things done or you know, they just watch you go uphill in your spiritual journey or just period or I'm getting if you have changed some, this person literally just watches you. And everything that you do, I'm hearing brick by brick, board by board, it may be minuscule to you or it may not be that deep, but this person literally takes notes. Yeah, because you're the motherfucking empress, man or female. If you're a man, you could be in your feminine energy. When you're in your feminine energy, you're able to create, you're able to respond, you're able to um, attend what, yeah, tend to your emotional needs and the ones around you as well as take in the landscape and, you know, the different things around you. But Six of Swords, you could be safe. I'm getting you are safe from this person. I feel like you're on the right path. Um, you know, how do you say that you are not doing anything that you're not supposed to be doing? And Collective, it's so funny because with the Emperor card here, some of you guys, you may have recently met one of your masculines here. You're going to bop, I'm not bopping, a bump into uh, another a div a divine masculine or a divine feminine or vice versa. Some type of divine person. Someone who's on your wavelength. I feel like what's going on, whoever this person is, they think that they are divine too. But Six of Wands, it's like... This person's a copycat, but it's like they use the opposite energy. So if you work in your feminine mostly, they're in their masculine um, mostly. Or like a, if you're in your masculine mostly, they're in their feminine mostly. Whatever the fuck it is, six of swords energy. Excuse me, six of wands energy. I don't know why I keep saying six of swords. Six of wands energy. Whoever this person is, um, ooh, child. They're just in it to win it here. I think that because you're winning. Okay, I'm hearing that song, She In My Car by Casey Veggies. Um, a car could be a significance here. But this person thinks literally because they're in your car, because they're on your, you're on your high horse or, you know, that they're getting some type of attention or, or notoriety or fame from whatever they're doing that you're not paying attention or you don't know this or you haven't connected the dots. Okay, yeah, two of pentacles. I feel like this person also, um, while you're in, while you're smooth sailing, you're doing your own thing. Um, you can definitely be very safe or you're on your right path or I'm getting, you're just minding your business. You're like living your day-to-day -day life. Whatever the fuck it is, two of motherfucking pentacles. This person is literally, I'm hearing, having, trying to have the strength to carry on. It's like, um, whenever they lose motion, whenever they lose strength, um, you make them feel like the little engine that could, but it's like the little engine that could be a better you or I'm getting, um be better than you or somehow secretly compete with you and win like you you motivate them at the same time this person's trying to like be weird okay it may even be to you or you may just pick up the energy but like i said ten of pentacles also you may have a lot of money power respect you may have got a lot of financial literacy or security as well as um stability 
or you have grown tremendously in your st uh your stability and what's going on here whoever the fuck this person is aquarius like you may not be in it like in it for the money or you're not be, maybe not be doing things for the money like you work a job but you like man fuck that job it ain't about the money it's about the spirituality or anything about this it's about that and this is somebody here who's always worried about the material realm they like to show out or they could be a little ballsy i'm hearing the world ballsy <laughs> yeah um just heavy earth sign heavy fire sign energy but like i said with the death card here i feel like this person about to get stopped in their tracks if they was watching you if they were trying to steal from you or i'm getting like you know transformation you're about to go to a transformation i'm hearing this song by alicia keys and i've been seeing it for the last three days you don't know my name like this person not gonna either know your name or they're not gonna know how to copy you like further i'm seeing in the future so like i said if this person could have got to you now or you know they had it going on or whatever the fuck it was will of motherfucking fortune this person is not going to be able to either steal your swag steal your drip or feel like you're going to elevate too high to where if this person even thinks about trying to uh be like you, steal your shit, do whatever the fuck it is. This person's not going to be able to. I'm hearing null and void. People are either going to catch on to this person or I'm getting it's just not going to work for me either. Okay, for some of you guys there, you may have this. You may have either one or two placements the same as this person in your chart or it just may be the same energy or they may co um, cooperate really, really well. But like I said, with the Will of Fortune energy, the Seven of Swords, this betrayal is already out in the open or, you know, it's going to be a motherfucking revealed. Okay, also, this is not going to be a long reading. Y'all, I got shit to do. <laughs> but this is what i want the motherfucker tell y'all okay um also what's going on with the ten of wands this is going to be heavy burden on them they're going to be very stressed here because i feel like them trying to be like you or them trying to exude your energy with a temperance card you're going to be vibrating so high you're going to be in balance to the point where all this person's imbalances here or um any type of karmic uh injustice or anything they've been doing here as well as i'm hearing um this is also somebody here who has literally, I just got this download. This is also somebody here who has tried to like betray you, but I'm getting like do it from the sidelines. I do it in a parallel way to where you would blame other individuals here or somehow it would never be them, but it's, but they're always the mutual or, um, this person is giving like con artist energy, but like they know they're a con artist, but it's like 7-Eleven on a time stamp. That could be significant, the number or the angel number. You may want to look it up, but this person knows that they are fucking con artists, but it's like. They'll blame everybody else for their mishaps, for what they have going on or anything like that. Hold on, y'all. My phone's going off. Let me go get my damn alarm. And it's so funny, my timer is going off. Like I said, time is up for the situation. Time is up for this person because it's just like, baby, baby, baby. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, child. Let's pull three cards on this person. Yeah, like I said, this person always talks a good talk. But when it's time to perform, or let's say that you have a certain talent, something that you do that makes you distinct. Could be like um, a job. Could be like a talent. Could be like clientele. Could be interest. Could be your hairstyle. Literally any fucking thing. I feel like you're a trendsetter or you're somebody who motherfuckers be checking for. And nobody really check for this person. You might also have more money or mo more monetary gain. Or I'm getting like, you know... um you could be getting more blessings than this person at this current time being, or you're about to. But like I said, this person talks a good talk to you in your face, okay? Or has talked a good talk to you before, but... And I'm hearing as well as the other individuals in the fucking community or just period. And this person already know that they came back up with the fuck they talking about. Or I'm getting when she hit the fan, is you still a fan? Like Kendrick Lamar says, this motherfucker is not a fan. Like if, if you was to do something here and it would backfire, this person would act like they not copying you. They don't fuck with you. This, that, this, that. But I'm getting everything is working for you. Everything is a go. Everything is flowing. Everything is doing this. So this person's like, oh yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do this and do that. But, like, if you fuck up or there's something here, you know, you may want to take accountability or, like, let's say you fuck something up or something, like, popular or you get frowned upon or some type of negative backlash, something like that happens to you. This person will completely act as if they would never like you, drop everything, change the clothes, change the shoe. I, I'm talking about this, this motherfucker here would just act like nothing ever happened. But, like I said, yeah, you are fucking unstoppable here. So, this is why this person, and this person knows that you're unstoppable. So, like, once you know that somebody's unstoppable, why not just keep copying them because nothing is going to stop them or they always back back bounce back or i'm getting you're very effervescent okay or you're very um how do you say uh persistent as well as um what is the word for that um 
this person is very remedial as well i just heard that this person is like very remedial they have to repeat things or you know they may have repeated a grade before if they were in grade school or just somebody here who they're just very remedial very childish or you know um yeah it's not giving what it's supposed to get, but you're very, you're very resilient here. This person's remedial. Like, you know, if something happens to them, it takes them a long time to either bounce back or they rarely get out of the situation if, either if nobody helps them or, you know, something does not shake or they don't have any outside sources or um, things available to help them in a situation, like, they don't bounce back, if that makes sense. This person does not have the bounce back gene, okay? This person does not have the bounce back vibe. You do, but this person does not have that, okay? Um... Yeah, like I said, weak strokes. Also, I feel like what's going on, this is the masculine here. Um, and you're a masculine. I feel like your sex game is really, really good, okay? Or you have a lot of sex appeal as well. And this person tries to mimic that. But then when it's time to show out or do something, the shit is weak as fuck. Like, is you really playing like this? And if this is a feminine, okay, this is somebody here who, like, they'll copy your, your sexual, you know, everything, your innuendo, you know, all this you know your energy but then when it's time to perform and when it when they when it's time to perform or like when um you know when people finally lay it down with this person this shit is trash and people give this person weak strokes and you know they do the whole spit trick maybe they spit on their hand and you know call it a day or you know they do the whole spit trick for this individual but like i said this person here is trying to copy literally everything that you do yeah yeah, like I said, this is somebody here who's just a fucking queen of wands. Man or female, this person's queen of wands. However, eight of wands, you will be seeing some type of contact from this person. Or I'm getting with the shrimp card here. You may need to, if they contact you, you may need to restrain yourself from this person. Um, or they may even try to uh, start some type of drama or bring some type of confrontation to your eyes. Also, this person, um, if you are mutuals here or, you know, you know this person, but you guys aren't friends. Well, how the fuck you know them? This person's going to bring up some type of issue or a situation or something like that. They're supposed to trigger you to see how you're going to handle it or address something to you. Maybe they're going through whatever the fuck it is, see how you're going to handle it. Or say something to you here. I put an offer on the table, but decline, 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 mute. I wouldn't say block. I mean, you could block the person, but, you know, they're going to start spying. But anyways, like I said, just fall back from this individual as a whole because Ace of Cups. So Ace of Cups are giving you is very murky or you don't even know what's really in the cup for real. Okay, like Kirk O'Bain said, I got this drink in my cup with the world side. You let that shit in. Okay, be like, nah, I'm straight. I'm good. Yeah, because Seven of Cups here, they want you to drink out of this cup or take their motherfucking offer or whatever the fuck it is here, collective, okay? But they're on some weird shit, all right? Um... Yeah, we, we, we ain't really fucking with that. Also, um, this was the end of the reading, y'all, because I got to get ready. I can't be um, taking too long because, baby, my patients need me. But what I'm saying is, okay, y'all, check out that second channel because I might just go on there and, like, a lot of times, like, now I've evolved to where I don't really have to use my tarot cards anymore <laughs> all the time. Like, if I'm doing a reading for somebody and I've never felt your energy before, I may use your tarot cards. If you're booking a reading, I could definitely do that. But it's getting to be now, like, Spirit telling me, like, bitch, put them motherfucking cards down for the collective. Put them motherfucking cards down. So, definitely check out my second channel. I will be posting a lot of videos on there. You may see, like, my face or you may see me, like, out and about or doing stuff like that. But, um, yeah. But this was the reading. It was something quick, something short. Okay, um, yeah, because I had to get ready. What time it is? Yeah, so this was the reading, y'all. I hope y'all did love this, and I would definitely check y'all out later. But just, just be aware of this motherfucker right here, okay? But I'll see y'all later. Bye.